So here it is, attempt number two for our flight from Miami to Moscow. It looks like this one is going to get us to Moscow. And uh, should be a smooth uh, 11 hour flight. So we'll check in and see how it goes. So we made it to Moscow. We got our bags. We are uh, just getting our rifles and our ammunition checked by the Russian customs here. And then uh, we're hoping to meet our outfitter that will take us through the whole customs process. And then we can uh, go check into our next flight to go to Dagestan. So we were able to clear customs. There's Yorgi behind me. We're heading to uh, check our guns in now to the police station here. Terminal B. And then we can go have some lunch because we are, uh, we have a couple hours before our next flight. Our outfitter. Alexi, say hello. Hi. He's uh, putting on a good pace. So here we are making it through. It's a really, really nice airport. They say they just opened it last year. So everything is really nice and brand new. All right, checking in in a little bit. So here we are on our second flight from Moscow to Makachala. Makachala, which is the capital of Dagestan. It was a quick three hour flight. I actually got to sleep a little bit. We're gonna land here, and uh, because we're late and we have some bad weather coming in, there's another change of plans. So we're not gonna stay here tonight. We will uh, take the six-hour car ride to uh, to the camp, and hopefully we get there. And tomorrow we can begin our hunt. All right, all right, we're in Dagestan. We made it on our flight. We're gonna board these buses, make it to the customs, get our stuff, and uh, get on our way. That was a short flight, three hours. So that's it. I think this is the. Uh, Still the same technology from 50 years ago. What's up, baby? All right, we made it to the stop here. We're gonna get out, take this path up and over. And I really don't know from there, but Alexi said this is the place to be. Let's go for rock and roll. Let's go for rock and roll. There's our horses on the back of that truck. And these are the mountains we will be hunting. So, day one, afternoon one. It's warm today. A little bit of breeze. Bluebird skies. Should be a good day. Take all the horses down and suit everything up and we'll go from there.
We'll check in a little bit. We we right now we need to go to far away to this small far peak. Okay. From this peak, it will be like a small small plateau, straight just below this peak, like a two meters below. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters below. It's straight down. Will be small plateau where will be our camp, and we from this point we will have a you know, lack of possibility to shoot some depends situation <laughs> but really we will be exactly in a tour location where tour will be and we have a time in the right place all right so that's here we go the peak and we are yeah. we are except for just like a like inside better so empty. Yeah. like alexi just described we're waiting to uh horses get everything saddled and then we'll, we'll take a probably uh what do you think a three hour ride up there let's say four four hours four hours on the horses to get up there nice and easy beautiful country as you can see up there some peaks have snow on them where the sun is not getting to them those peaks up there have snow on them but yeah it's autumn Really, really pretty. Really nice day. Grateful to be here. And on the horse we are making our climb up there. There's my horse. There's George and his horse. Oh yeah. And the guides are walking the pack horse. We got one guide up there and another young guide. Behind and slowly walking up. We, uh, as hunters, get the privilege of riding these ponies up. Well, that's it for now. Checking a little bit. So here I am, made it to the top of the mountain in Dagestan. A few hour horseback ride. We got about another hour or so to get to our base camp. Here's one little area where we can get some signal. So I'm going to say this to you now. Love you guys. So here we are. Made it, I would say, within an hour maybe a little less of the mountain cabin where we're going. The mountain cabin is up there on that flat. So there's some wild horses up there. We came down to drink water here. There's water coming out of the mountain. Beautiful day. temperature yeah there's some wild horses up there so yeah we're gonna go up there make some lunch set up camp maybe glass tonight make a plan for tomorrow sketchy but not bad at all and I mean not bad at all that's it for now we're at 9,000 feet uh, almost 9,000 feet the boys are gonna go do some scouting right now we uh, had some a little tour refuel, meat. little tour meat a little some chai little tea fresh cheese but and check out that view I mean, the view is unbelievable. That's Azerbaijan. Alexi, what do you have to say? Nothing, nothing else. Nothing. We're in mountain. That's Let's right. see tomorrow. <laughs>
Life is good. Life is good. Life but is good life is better. But good life is better. Yes. And that's it for now. Check in a bit. So we here we are taking a little break. We're gonna go. It's a 20 minute walk. I think we know where the tour are. <laughs> Hello, Yorgi. Oh, <laughs> how's rock and roll? <laughs> That's not rock and roll. <laughs> Ready?
is gnarly, sketchy as she gets. There's Georgie walking up. There's Alexi taking a little break. These mountains are extremely humbling. Oh, but seriously. How you feeling, G? Oh, like a, like a, like a bag of shit. That's what I feel like. <laughs> uh, I feel worse than I look. So, we came up this ridge, and then down, where that trail is over there, all around. And our camp is up on that flat. This is the experience.